Hey ladies. Okay, so here is my mini book that I made taking one of Frank Garcia's mini book classes. I took it about a week ago, last weekend. So let me go ahead and dive in. Please always know in the description box, I will have the link to his website, my discount code, which is Anna 10, and it never expires. And you can use it on anything in his store except for his classes. You cannot use my coupon code for um, walk-in. If you're gonna walk in, do some shopping, and then when you cash out, use my code, you can't do that. It's only for online. So whether you're online shopping, or let's say you wanna shop online and then pick up, you could do that too. You can use my coupon my coupon code for that as well. As long as they're done, the transactions are online, okay? So just please always make sure to check in the description box. And that's it, let's dive in. Okay. This mini book is one big mama jamma. So um, it's eight and a quarter by eight and a half. And it was a class from nine in the morning till six at night. And let me tell you every minute of that class is just a necessity to get this done. And he was moving at a faster pace, okay? So this wasn't like at slow pace. <laughs> this was actually moving kind of quick. Everybody in the class was keeping along. So it was great. And so, Right here is where, okay, so we painted all the pages, just the outside um, around because we're putting paper on top. So we used like um, vintage white, I believe it was. And hold on, let me, it's a big mamma jamma, so it's like, a, it's kind of hard to hold. But here, here, let me move my light because I know as soon as I start trying to show it, this, my hot light is right here. And, and it's a cloudy day today, ladies, so sorry about that. It's about to rain in Cali. Okay, so here we go. Is that not just <laughs> so much yumminess? I mean, we did so much. These flowers, we added all the sprinkles to the pom-poms. And then that right there, that carousel, he sells the mold that also makes those and also makes this little cone right here. Thank goodness I own it. I wanna play around with that. And I love it because this is a Dulce collection and this is a good any time of year. And I love that we did this one. All these little dots was definitely, that's that's his like signature thing that he has been doing for years. So I wanted to make sure when I left the class that that part was done or else I would have never finished it at home. And I don't want that, I wanted it to be complete. So look at how fun and full of yumminess this is. We did some paint splatter, as you will see, all along this resin piece. And then there's two layers of lace, a cream and a pink. And then this binding right here is like that canvas. It's like a canvas. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. Here's one of the, I believe this is one of the Tim Holtz or graphic for, I don't remember who that's by these knobs are. But he gives you the whole pack. I had a ton of leftover stuff, mind you. You know, he gave us 12 by 12 sheets, a brand new pack of eight by eight. And you know, the um, what are the, the journaling cards in the four by five and the three by fours, I think if I said four by sixes, four by six and three by something. I don't remember, but he gives you the full packs. Okay, so here is the binding portion of it. And we used seam binding. And then we have this beautiful eyelash trim. And then here are the charms from his collection. And he gives you the whole pack of these so you can pick which ones you want. Um, like for instance, he didn't use the unicorn on his original piece, but I like unicorns, so I wanted to use the unicorn piece. And those are the three pieces I used. Super, super adorbs. Okay, and then this is just the back. Oh, yeah. this is so heavy. Okay, see, I mean, look at this. That's a lot. So let's go ahead and get inside. All right. Okay, so here's the first inside piece. And um, the flowers are part of the collection as well as the puffy stickers. Anything that you see in here is going to be part of his Dulce collection. Okay, even the mold makes this cupcake as well. So look at that, the layers, oh, just gorgeous. 
And then here's the other side. And this right here is a pocket. And these are using the, um, the cards. I keep wanting to call them index cards, but they're journaling cards. So these go in here, but you can layer your pictures on top of these. So, I mean, of course they're in here right now for look, but I could easily add um, my photo onto these and then stick them in. I had to bring my own um, edge punch, and this is the Martha Stewart um, oldie but goodie, her doily punch. And that's what this one is, so that's just this pocket page. Just super pretty, okay? And then right here, you're gonna see there's these little, um, what you call it, and this is because he made that so that you can um, add your own sliding, um, another, you know, to put more pictures on. We did not do those in class. So this is something I have to do on my own. So I'm just gonna have to go through my, um, my eight and a half by 11 cardstock pieces, but one 10 pound weight. I would want it to be heavier, not flimsy. And then you can just put it in here because you can do a bigger one and then add two three by fours when you pull it out. It doesn't have to be one big picture. So you'll see this on every single page. So when you see this little notch, just know that that's what that's for. All right. And did I do that one? Okay, yeah. And here's the second one. Super pretty. And the jemmies are also part of that collection. It was so much fun. I mean, he gave you like three brand new packs of flowers, you know, and oh my gosh, he's very, very giving in his classes. His classes, um, they do vary in price. Always know that you are getting a lot of brand new stuff. He doesn't nickel and dime and just give you, if he only uses 10 jemmies in this whole book, he doesn't just cut out 10 of them. He just gives you the whole pack. Um, flowers, we used three packs of flowers and I honestly, after using all the flowers, I walked out with a full pack and a half. Once I mixed all of the three together, what was left over, that's what I walked out with. So, and I still have about over half of my eight and a half by 11 paper. So there's a lot of stuff, you know, you come out with and not to mention, you know, he's teaching your class the whole day where you're there all day long. So his classes are absolutely amazing. I enjoy taking his classes. I enjoy taking classes there too. Um, he has other um, designers that go in there and teach classes and theirs are great as well. So you just wanna check on the um, his website. So there's a lot of different things for different people. And, um, and there's also small, if you just wanna take a class just doing little small, um, uh, what do you call it, little small type of things, like maybe gift card holders or cards. You know, Pauline, his store manager, she also teaches classes, you know, for $5, $10. Sometimes, you know, it's maybe not in the budget to take a more expensive class. So don't feel like you can't take a class because yes, yes, you can. There's classes in so many different things. I've taught a couple classes there. I wanna do, you know, next year, I wanna do a couple more because it's just fun just to be able to interact with everybody. These right here are using all of the four by six um, journaling cards. So this is like the little waterfall, um, waterfall. So for me, you know, you can actually stick the seam binding behind this whole thing and then bring it around here and then tie the knot so it keeps these flat or um, tie a bow and you could do that as well. So if you, I've done, I have many years I've done um, mini books. So there's a lot of ideas you can add to it if you wanted to go ahead and do that. These right here are um, side pockets. Let's see if I can hold this with one hand here. All right. So you'll see right here that these are the four by six. And the and this right here is a different edge punch. Um, because this was like one 10 pound weight, it, my Martha Stewart um, doily edge punch would not punch through it because you know, it's very intricate. So my friend Leah, who um, teaches all the wreath classes that are amazing, um, she had her, and this punched like butter through the 110 because it wasn't so intricate. So she let me borrow it. And then here is another four by six. And then here is this corner. And then this right here is just one of the, um, what you call it, 
I keep wanting to call things cut aparts and that's not what it is, ephemera. <laughs> and then these right here, are, um, these both mirror each other. So they are both pockets. And then, yep, this right here. Let's see, can I just grab these please? Cause I have to look around the my phone. So you see these are the bigger pieces. And you can use these if you wanted to make your own, um, what do you call it? Um, your own photo mats and then just use these specifically for journaling. You'll just have to layer a solid cardstock and do that. So you, you know, when you see like online, you see people that are um, selling their mini books for like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. I absolutely now know why they're so expensive because so much time is put into these and a lot of product. So this right here, this is where I ran with the class because I was, um, I had um, somewhere that I was going to go to. So I was trying to hurry, but I wanted it to be complete. These right here were supposed to be side loading pockets where you could just put this stuff on the side. And um, so I went ahead and just did bigger photo mats on these instead. So I did switch it up on these last um, four pages that you're gonna see. So this right here, I went ahead and just created it. And I did my own collage using the ephemera pieces. And then this one right here, I mirrored it. Let me lift this up. And I added these on top of each other. So I did a lot of foam as well underneath these pieces. So this gives you plenty of space to add one big size picture or, um, you know, multiple little pictures. And I'm seeing my glue strings. Isn't that awesome when you see that <laughs> when you're doing a video? <laughs> so there you go. And then these two right here, I also just went ahead and used some scrap pieces and I did this longer piece because I wanted to use my scraps. I didn't want to have to cut into new sheets if I didn't have to. And then I just did this collage in the corner. Isn't that ice cream cone? with the unicorn and everything it is so cute and then this last page i went ahead and and some of my older mini books i used to do this and where i um or i would go ahead and create this so you could put the picture here and then make it a pocket on the side so this is something I used to do back in the day, years ago when I was making mini books. So I figured, yes, let's do that because these were scrap pieces as well. So I'm like, let's use those before I start cutting into brand new sheets. And um, so that's what I did with these. So these will hold the, like a little pocket, which is perfect. Okay, and then I just did that little collage right there. So that's what made this whole thing complete. I love it. This class was so very much fun and I really enjoyed that you know um, when I get to take Frank's classes I really enjoy it um, I don't get to do them all the time but um, I have been lately these last few times and he's one of my amazing friends so it's it's just really fun to take his class but like I said, there's so many classes by other people that they're teaching. So please make sure you go onto the website and check it out and, um, and see what works best for you if you live in the area. I mean, I don't live that close because uh, it's in Upland and I'm in Costa Mesa. So it's about an hour drive. And that's, you know, if traffic is nice, but you're there all day, you can shop there. You can, there's places for you to eat around there. You crop there. There's so much going on. So this is what I created. I had a blast, um, you know, putting this together. Also, to let me, I don't want to take credit, but the rhinestone that was also on my resin, Johnny, he was there all the time to help out. And um, he put that on there for me because I could not, you know, I'm still new to using this stuff right here. Super new to using this. And um, so I don't have good control over it. And Johnny was able to whip it out like, like with his eyes closed. <laughs> so he, I had him put this on for me. So thank you so much, Johnny. So that is that. And that is my book. Isn't it amazing? Oh, and real quick, let me show you 
what I used with the scraps, just a couple small things. So I did these super cute bows. These are flat bows and um, using the scraps because I'm like, uh, you know, I can't throw scraps away, I have, I have a problem. <laughs> and that is using uh, my Creative Time dies. These are her new release and I got all three sizes because the price point, I think it was like, I don't know if it was like $4, $5, $7 for each one of these because I got the small, the medium and the large. And the price point was insane. It was such a good deal. It's like, uh, you can't get one and not get all of them. That's nuts. So I did grab all three of them and this is using all three. So is that not cute? And it's perfect because they're meant to be flat. That was the whole point because you know when we make the really fluffy bows and you put them in something, they get all smushed. These ones are meant to be flat. So you can use these just with the one. You don't have to use all three. I just did because I like the look. And then if you wanted to make it lift, look at how super cute. And it comes with a cute little stitched heart, the dies. All of them come with their own. And then I did not use all the tails, of course, but I did use the two bigger ones. So these are super duper cute. So with some of my sheets that were not really big that are from scraps, I'm gonna be um, running these through because these are perfect to gift. In fact, these are going in an embellishment book. So just wanted to show you those really quick. And that's it. All right. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys, you guys, okay, Anna, slow down. <laughs> you guys have an amazing and blessed weekend. And don't forget to check the description box for my discount code. And also too, to take a sneak peek at all of his upcoming classes. And also he always posts when he gets new stuff. Girl, ladies, he gets all the new stuff and he keeps things flowing. So anytime you're looking for something new of a collection, he's constantly bringing new stuff to the store. So please make sure you take um, a sneak peek at the website and I will see you guys later. Bye.